Hey, who sprayed the Lysol? <laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Andrew. Sorry, it's a bit foggy in here. My mind has been a little fogged up recently. <laughs> Panther TV is back, and we're here to bring you all the good news. On today's show, Political Predictions, an FHS senior makes a bold prediction about the presidential race. Radio Drama, a preview of the theater department's live radio show premiering tonight. Plus, students and teachers are vowing to keep the music alive. All these stories and more on today's episode of Panther News, Quarantine Edition. Good morning, Panthers. Our top story of the week is the cancellation of April break. We know you're tired of hearing the word cancellation, but look on the bright side. We have Monday off and our last day of school is now June 18th, a week earlier than scheduled. Unless you're a senior, that is, we're already gonna be out at that point. And just a reminder to all seniors that all local scholarship applications are due on Monday, April 20th. You can find the form on the FHS website. Make sure you've submitted an essay if the scholarship requires one. Peer leadership applications are due on Monday, April 27th by 12.15. Instructions are on the documents. You can find an application on the Peer Leadership Twitter account. If you've been following the presidential race, then you know that Bernie Sanders is out, but Biden is in. This is shaping up to be one competitive race with a highly unpredictable outcome. Here's senior Michael Richardson with that story. Hello everyone, I'm Michael Richardson for Panther News. For the past several days, you might have seen some mysterious images pop up on the Panther TV Twitter account, and I'm extremely excited to announce what those photos have been alluding to. For the past several months, I've been working on a podcast, trying to predict who will win the American presidential election on November 3rd of this year. That podcast is available right now on the Panther TV YouTube channel. It's over 90 minutes long and goes through each state in a lot of detail trying to predict who they each will cast their electors for. It's been an amazing experience working on this project for you, and I really hope you enjoy it. That's all for me over here. Have a terrific rest of your day. Thanks, Michael. You can find more about this topic on his podcast on the Panther TV media channel or on the online newspaper, Panther Book. In arts news, students from Theater One and Theater 2 will be collaborating for a live radio drama performance of 39 Steps. Panther TV's Zach Vigil sat down with Mr. Grossman, the theater teacher, to talk about it. Hello, Mr. Grossman. Uh, thank you for being here today with Panther TV. Um, so today I'm going to be asking you some quick questions about the performance on Friday. So uh, could you tell us a little bit about the performance? First off, I just want to say thanks, Zach, for having me here. I'm happy to talk about the, uh, the upcoming uh, radio drama presentation on Friday. Uh, so this Friday, uh, Theater One and Theater Two students have been working and rehearsing outside of school hours on a, a radio play called The 39 Steps, uh, based on Alfred Hitchcock's The 39 Steps and adapted into uh, dramatization by Joe Landry. Uh, we've been working on it for about you know, three or four weeks. Originally it started as an enrichment project and students took it upon themselves to uh, take a deeper interest into uh, how radio play works. And it's kind of a parallel to the, our situation right now because back in the mm -hmm. you know early 1900s, people would sit around their radios when they had no form of entertainment and mm -hmm. uh, we're yeah. kind of stuck here at home. So we're yeah. trying to we're trying to re-replicate that as well in regards yeah. to uh, what's happening, so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, how can people listen in? Uh, we um, we are going to be broadcasting the radio uh, radio play through Google Meet. Um, uh, the the only uh, the only setback to that is in order to listen live, uh, you will need a FranklinPS.net email address. So, uh, fortunately for our staff and for our students. Uh, they will be the ones that this is catered to and that this uh, this will be delivered to. Uh, but if parents want to listen in, they'll need to uh, access their uh, their child's 
uh, franklinps.net uh, email yeah. address, but I will be tweeting out the link via my at Mr. Grossman uh, yeah. tweet, uh, Twitter account. I'll tweet that yeah. link out today and yeah. you can access it through that. Yeah, and the families can enjoy it together. And yeah, yeah, we something. got around our, our computer yeah. radios. Yeah. It was great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a good thing to do during this tough time. But, uh, Absolutely. Thank, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, thank you for being here today. And uh, yeah. back to you, Andrew. Back to you, Andrew. <laughs> Thanks, Zach and Mr. Grossman. We're all excited about the show. But remember, in order to access the live stream, you'll need to use a Franklin PS account. You can access the link through Mr. Grossman's Twitter account on the screen. In today's Rewind, we're looking back at the English Department's annual symposiums. They took place in March, just before school closed. We went there, and we wanted to share the story with you. Congratulations to all the students involved in those inspiring performances. And congratulations to here at Panther TV for winning our first Student Emmy Award. Our video on Chromebook Care starring our principal, Mr. Perry, was honored for Best PSA by the Regional Chapter of the National Academy. Here's a special message from host Daniel Miller from the Boston 25 News team. This is Danny Miller from Boston 25 Morning News. Just wanted to say congratulations on your award. Each one of you did incredible work on submitting your project. And I can't say enough how important it is for you to be dedicated to what you love. Each one of you should be proud of yourselves for such a huge accomplishment. Congratulations. Well done, TV Club. And in times like these, TV and music can be a huge comfort for those. That's why music students and teachers are looking to keep the music alive. Here's Miles Reed, an FHS senior, performing a piece by Bach. So now sit back and enjoy. Hi, my name is Miles, and I will be playing the Sarabande from Bach's third suite for a solo cello.
Thanks, Miles. That was absolutely incredible. Well, that's all the news we have for you today and for this week. We'll be back next Friday with more good news. And if you have anything you'd like to share, email Miss Murrow at Panther TV, and we'll be sure to tell your story. For all of us here at Panther TV, stay safe and stay healthy, Franklin High. Now leading us out today is Miss Ploof. So sit back and enjoy some more Bach once again. Thank you.